Howdy y'all, it's Tracy, and uh, I'm going to do something a little different today. I've got a product here that we're going to put together, and uh, it is uh, an 8-inch selfie ring light, and uh, this is not something I normally do, but my wife has, uh, she's had to teach online, um, she's a chemistry professor, and so she's had to do some online stuff, which is not stuff that she normally does. And uh, so she was asking me to check this thing out and uh, put it together for her today. So I'm going to put it together. We have uh, some, some lighting issues in here, partly because of the paint color on the walls. Um, we have a lot of browns in our house and tans and things like that. And they kind of wash you out. They don't make you look very uh, good. And uh, I've tried giving her some of my smaller lights uh, that I use sometimes and, and they just haven't worked very well. So uh, this is what we've got here. So I'm going to get right into it and uh, we'll uh, put a before and after at the end here. So let's see what we've got in here. Well, it looks like we've got some instructions. Hold on to those. And looks like there is a tripod in here. It looks like it's got all the normal tripod parts on it. And uh, Looks like it will extend. We'll figure out how far it will extend a little bit later. Made in China, of course. She bought this on Amazon. And this little box here, looks like we've got some other mounts. That looks like a cell phone mount. Uh, that's interesting. It's kind of cool actually. And a, well, I'm not sure what that's for. We'll read the directions when we get to that. And oh, a ball mount. Let me pull that out and take a look at it. A ball mount looks like it would mount on top of the tripod as well. This looks like a little mount for, say, I don't know, a zoom camera or something like that. I, or a, not a zoom, but a, maybe a GoPro or something like that. I, I don't have a GoPro, so I don't know. And what is this? This looks like maybe another type of cell phone. Um, Mount, that's kind of cool too. And what's this last thing here? Is this a, this might be a remote for a camera. Whoops. Hey, uses one of those. Oh, let's see, CR2032, three volt batteries. I have a lot of those around. Same thing I use in my little snap-on guitar tuners. So I'm not sure whether we'll get to using that today or not. And then, the part in here, let's set this aside. actually interested in looking at and this looks like it runs with your computer on USB and has some controls there okay so let's do a little manual read here thank you for purchasing the 
selfie right or ring light. Uh, please read the instructions and warnings carefully before use to ensure your safety and satisfaction of this product. Okay, well, uh, whatever. Let's see here. Looks like we've got everything. It was in the that was supposed to be in here. A little. Yeah. Okay. All right, so these things looks like they can all stack on top of one another there. We might try that out later. Uh, let's see here. How to install the ring light. Insert the tripod ball head into the screw hole of the ring light. Screw the bottom of the tripod ball head clockwise. Tripod ball head, there you are. And oh, hold on. Looks like I have to turn the whole thing here. got that all right now the tripod here um, has your normal tripod kind of things on it uh, it's a little different in the way that and in any of them that I've done and I don't know it's not the super heavy dutiest thing in the world but it was it was pretty cheap so um, anyway it's got on here to lock spin this way and to unlock spin that way and so to get each section, you grab onto the section below it and you turn this way just a little bit. Then it comes out to what you want, turn it back. And so you can extend it and it has one, two, three, four sections. You can see that on the big camera here. One, two, three, four sections. And then the base, and of course the base just works like a normal base. Come on now, if I don't break it in the process. There we go. Okay, and then turn that down. I would be careful with this thing. The you got metal going into plastic in a lot of these things, and uh, so. Okay, so that looks like the that's the fully extended height right there, just a little above my head. Right now I'm going to pull this down just a little bit so you can see better. And uh, let's go ahead and put this on. Like so. All right, and there that is. We'll take the wire tie off of here. Next, I'm going to have to retrieve some USB power from somewhere. All right, if you're still with me, I've got my computer set up just off screen here. So I'm going to plug into a USB and now I have a power, little blue dot there. Let's turn that on and see what happens here. Oh, hey, looky there. Yep. Looks like we can take it down in intensity and we can bring it up. That's as bright as she goes. All right. And uh, okay, so the mode switch on here, it says to adjust the color temperature, press the lighting color switch. We offer three modes, cool light or white, warm light, yellow. That's not yellow, that's yellow. Oh, let's go back here. I'm guessing this is white. And then we go to yellow, 
And then we go to natural light, which is white and yellow. And I'm going to leave it on natural. So anyway, um, let's see what it looks like. I'm going to move it around to the far side. All right. And same me. I'll, uh, you know, don't get points for pretty, I guess. But uh, anyway, we will, uh, I'll put the, the beginning on and we'll see if there's any difference. I've got the ring setting uh, approximately four feet from me and just a tiny bit behind and above the camera and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll take my glasses off. Um, sometimes when you look close you'll see um, the actual ring reflected in people's pupils uh, when they're using a ring light. I don't know if you can or not. We'll check that out too. Um, I guess I should try the different colors. This is the natural light and let's see what the here's the white and here's the yellow I think we've probably got too much yellow in this room already but uh, we'll see how that looks all right as far as a review on this I'll have to look at the video and see um, I do like the fact that it's pretty easy to put together I mean you can read the directions or not read the directions pretty easy to figure out um, what I don't like is it doesn't have that because it runs on USB um, it doesn't have a battery so I couldn't take it out um, and shoot you know say an interview with somebody uh, unless I took my computer or some other uh, USB power source with me um, to do that and, you know which is not that big a deal you can get cheap USB uh, power packs and things like that uh, that this would probably run off of just fine anyway that's it for this time and uh, try and get some more guitar stuff up and you all have a great one and uh, stay safe and we'll see you next time all right I did uh, too good a job of lighting my initial video for you to be able to tell what the difference was uh, I went ahead and turned off my overhead light so it's quite a bit darker in here so now we'll hopefully get a difference. This is with the ring light off and now it's on and let's see here let's crank it. It's already up all the way. Let's crank it down a little bit. That's as far down as it goes. Let's crank it back up. And let's go to yellow. And to get uh, natural. And then back to white. So now maybe you can tell the difference. On the video before, there really wasn't any difference because I had so much light coming in from, from up above. So hopefully that'll help you make a decision whether you like it or not. And uh, Anyway, here's the box again. It's uh, sold on Amazon. Model number AK-08. And it doesn't really have a, a brand that I can see anywhere. It says selfie ring light. Anyway, that's it.